the music. <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> Hello everyone, Curious Quarter right here, and today is a very special day because the demo for Final Fantasy VII Rebirth has officially been made for all of us normies out there <laughs> to finally play it. So I had serious FOMO watching all of the different content creators, big and small, get invited to the launch event. They got to meet the developers and the cast and play the game early. I think they got to play like the first two chapters of the game and I had serious FOMO seeing all of that. <laughs> so thankfully the demo has now been made available for everyone to play and that's what we're going to be checking out today. It is the fall of a hero in Nibelheim, the Nibelheim flashback, the iconic and very infamous flashback <laughs> in Final Fantasy VII. So if any of that sounds cool to you guys and you'd like to stick around, you can click the like button, helps out my channel a lot, and you can subscribe if you wanna see more content. We're covering tons of Final Fantasy stuff. There's a big preview event going on and I've got some videos coming out within the next couple of days, as well as my reaction to that state of play, which had some pretty massive things in its trailer, but because my memory is so bad, I pretty much already forgot most of it, <laughs> which is a good thing. But Let's get to the demo and have some fun. All right, after covering this game for so long, it's nice to be able to just play it. <laughs> We're recapping the previous game, sick. <laughs> this looks really good. My controller is rumbling like crazy. I'm waiting, Cloud. Awesome. <laughs> oh, All right. Man. Seeing as we've got the time, want to tell the rest of us about you and your buddy Sephiroth? Sure. If Tifa doesn't mind. Me? Yeah, no problem. It's... It all started five years ago. I was 16 at the time. There was hardly any work for soldiers back then, and the little there was, it was boring as hell. My heart wasn't in it. Then, out of nowhere, the job of a lifetime came up. A mission with Zephyr. <laughs> I couldn't believe my luck. Yeah, I couldn't either. <laughs> this looks really good though, the graphics are sick! Also, the controller vibration and the dual sense feels really good. It's really coming down, huh? We're in the truck. <laughs> hey man, feeling any better? I'm good. Sure don't look it. Gee, I wonder who that really is. Wish I could help, but never been motion sick. Sorry, man. Ready to do this? Yeah, you bet. I've done these types of squats outside in the winter, and it does keep you warm. Sephiroth! <laughs> Say, I'd like to be briefed on the mission at some point. Because if it's another one of those Turks gigs, you can let me off right here. <laughs> really? Finally make first, what do they do? Call a ceasefire with Utah. Stealing my shot at glory. I didn't join Soldier to be an errand boy. I joined up so I could be a hero, like you. Hmm. Well, our mission is to survey a rundown reactor. Another one of those Turks gigs. <sighs> Fine. Job's a job, I guess. Where is it? Nibelheim. Nibelheim? That's where I grew up. Got some fiends in our twelve. Let's go. <laughs> so cool. 
I really can't get over how good it looks, like seeing it on my TV. Ugh. Oh, that's a great shot. You take one, I'll take the other. Oh, come on, Cloud. <laughs> I get to be Sephiroth right away? Okay. okay. I don't have access to shortcuts just yet. Wow, he's quick. Sick. <laughs> Yeah, he's, uh, he's really powerful. <laughs> he was in a different league from the rest of us. No dragon. Nibelheim. That's where they built the first reactor, right? Yeah, it all started in the fall. Something was wrong with the reactor, and the whole village was up in arms. Talk of strange new monsters on the mountain only made things worse. People were scared, desperate. The villagers tried to take care of the monsters themselves, but it was no good. Ended up calling Shinra. So the company sent help. Best they had. Fody's change of voice in Young Cloud is really... It's super impressive. Trying to change your tone, especially when it's higher pitched, is really hard. And he's doing a great job. Home sweet home, right? Tell me. How does it feel? I have no home, so I wouldn't know. Uh, you still got parents though, right? A mother named Genova. She died shortly after I was born. My father. Whoa there! Genova? Like from the Shinra building? <laughs> yeah. Don't worry, I'm getting to that. <laughs> Why am I talking about this? Come on, let's go. Hope I didn't keep you waiting. I'm Xander, the mayor here. I wanted to greet you myself, to uh, welcome you to our humble little town. Please, if you'll follow me. Consider yourself off duty till sundown. Okay, main menu. Oh, you can make this bigger now. That's cool. Okay, circle to roll forward or jump. Let's look at our stuff. Okay, we can do photo mode too, okay. Road warrior bangle. What material is Cloud working with? Healing, fire, and ice. It's really cool though to see, cause this has been done so many times, this section of the story, most recently with Crisis Core, but seeing how they reimagine it for this game and 
it still feels fresh. It doesn't feel like, oh, I've seen this already. It's boring. It's like, no, they find new ways to make it uh, feel new and interesting again, which is not easy to do. So I'm impressed. Level 40. Okay. Combat settings. Oh, here's our shortcuts. Square is braver. Focus thrust is triangle. Triple slash is X. Let's see if we can set something else on X. Okay, so we only have three moves. What about a spell or an item? Um, let's do... I'll do a Mega Potion on L, L1 and X, just to be safe. And it's the same for the air as well. And then our Synergy stuff is down there. Okay, so it looks like Square and Triangle are our offensive Synergy, and... Circle and X are the defensive ones. So one, two, offensive, three, four, defensive. All right. The backwater is an understatement. Don't blame you for getting the hell out of here. So, any friends here you want to see? Maybe a girlfriend? <laughs> Visually, though, man, like... 7 Remake looked really good on PS5, but this is a noticeable difference. It looks really good. I'll have to check it out on the 4K mode. Oh, sorry, lady. <laughs> oh, there's the dog. It's a German Shepherd. And obviously this is much more expansive than Crisis Core. There was only so much they could do with the town in Crisis Core. This is much bigger. <laughs> that stamp. Got another Mega Potion. That's good. Hey, dog. So I noticed when I was fighting a Sephiroth, um, I don't know if his R1 was a guard or if it was a parry stance. It didn't seem like it was a guard. This just looks so good. Oh shit! Another mega potion. I like just being able to do this. In other games, you would have to go around, <laughs> but now we can just hop over it. This is my third load of laundry. Sorry. Man, the town is so much bigger than I remember. It's the water tower. Oh, okay, so I can survey the area. That's the path that leads to the Shinra mansion back there. So how did it feel being back up there? I don't know. Nostalgic, I guess? After two years away and all that. Uh huh. You can hear the doubt in Tifa's voice. I do like the color scheme too. It's like a frost kind of color scheme. Oh shit. Team 
I'm gonna explore over here first before we check these doors, because I don't know if that's gonna progress anything. Oh, look at the cats. A lot of animals in Nibelheim. Hey, you worked out with everyone? Just for a bit. <laughs> Could you keep up? Well, let's all take a short break. If you feel it. Make sure you're prepared for a tough hike tomorrow. Okay. Got to go back. This looks really good, though. Okay, let's check out the doors. Oh, is Sephiroth in there? Oh, I get to answer yes or no. Ooh, Tifa did not sound like she was happy about us going there. I am curious to see the house, though. I figured you might be there. It's such a nice little house. Like, this is the perfect size house, I think. You don't need anything, like, super extravagant and big. This just seems like it'd be perfect for, like, one or two people. Oh, look at the fridge. Remember my cat? Her name was... Fluffy, I think? Yeah. Uh -huh. She was always disappearing. And that day was no different. Well, there's a bunch of cats out back. <laughs> Maybe she's there. <laughs> door there. Door down here. You went into my room? I did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> You went through my stuff? No, let's not upset Tifa. <laughs> if that's your idea of a joke, I'm not laughing. Sorry. Yeah, me neither. Come on, Cloud. I know you better than this. I didn't mean to. I just, I explore when I play these games. I explore every nook and cranny. I didn't mean to upset Tifa and Aerith and Barrett. Now I feel bad. <laughs> Okay, this is the piano. Did you actually play it? Why not? Went to town on it. <laughs> yeah, I did not expect that negative reaction. I just, I, I open things in video games. <laughs> Sale! That was fun. I'm very curious to see what other songs are in here. Like, can you do the battle theme? Sorry for oh, Where'd you learn to do that? Hey, you got to play for us sometime. Well, shit. You're a merc of many talents. Cool. I wonder what dialogue you get for getting like a perfect score. Also, Tifa, I apologize. I didn't mean to go through your stuff or pretend to go through your stuff. I promise I'm not a snoopy person. Bottle of ether. Oh, there's an actual little image of it now. I didn't notice that with the uh, potion. It's the little details that they, they have in here that are really impressive. Like, you don't need an image of the potion to pop up, but it pops up. Then I stop on my mouse. Not that it matters. <laughs> sure it does. I know I want to hear what happened. Me too. Yeah. 
Gotta do it. Cloud shakes his head no. <laughs> I do remember Cloud's mom. My dad died when I was a kid. Being a babe. So after I left for Midgar, she was on her own. It was the first time we'd seen each other in two years. First time. And last. I'll be right there. Is that you? Hey. Welcome home. Come in. Let me get a good look at you. My, my. So that's what they've got you wearing, huh? You soldiers sure do clean up nice. I've never been so proud. The man you've become. Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl that could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. They are feeding you properly, aren't they? Oh, Cloud. But you know, Cloud. Wouldn't you agree, Cloud? You're my son. Of course, I'll always be. It's like his memories are getting jumbled. It's, oh yeah. It's overwhelming him. Wait a second. You two were neighbors? We were, but... It's not like we hung out that much. <laughs> we had our reasons. <laughs> our reasons, huh? <laughs> that most of them had to do with you. I really like that, though, because... Obviously, with Cloud and his memories, things aren't all kosher. So the more he draws on them and thinks about them, the more he's starting to struggle. That's super cool. There's a store. Hello. Ah, Shinra's here, I see. Thank you for coming. You're Shinra? Shinra? Oh, whoops. I didn't recognize you, Cloud. How you've grown. I must say, you look dashing in that uniform. You're so cool. <laughs> You're so cool. You're so cool. <laughs> Sephiroth fan club is here. Look at all the detail, man. Pottery, the dishes. This doesn't feel real. We've been covering this game for so long and, and now we're playing the demo, but still. <laughs> it's cool. So we should probably proceed with the main story. I think that's it. Tifa's master. A humble traveler of the world, and teacher of martial arts to the youth. Hmm. He has a proper introduction this time. Watch it now. Well toned, but lacking mass. <laughs> Who asked you? You could learn a lot from me. Perhaps. <laughs> Don't be shy. I have many pupils your age. At last count, 128. In fact, one of them's from this very village. Perhaps you know her. Tifa. Sure. A real talent, that one. She'll go far. 
Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, right? Got anything to say for yourself? I didn't know. I love the banter in the characters. This just brings them all so close together. And we've read about them really expanding upon like the bonds between the characters. You feel it already. This is awesome. And they're taking side characters and amplifying them even more. With him especially, like this is super cool. I'd be interested to see how one of Shinra's finest fights. Maybe you'll see you later, buddy. Should you need my help, just say the word. He looks super cool. This is like a. I don't want to cuss a lot in my videos. This dude looks like a freaking Tekken character, <laughs> with that redesign. Welcome back. Sephiroth's already gone upstairs. Thank you, lady. Didn't really notice at the time, but looking back, all the signs were there. From the moment we arrived, Sephiroth just wasn't himself. What you looking at? This landscape. Huh? I could swear I've seen it before. You okay? Big day tomorrow. We'll be leaving bright and early. You should get some rest. All right, we'll do. I tried, but I couldn't get to sleep that night. Was too excited, too nervous. Was pretty much the same for me. Why? <laughs> yeah, I was surprised too. You know what happened the last time she went up there. That was years ago, Brian. She's old enough to make her own. The bridge incident. <laughs> we leave once our guide arrives. Yes, sir. <laughs> Brian! Sephiroth, sir. I must insist that I take you up the mountain. My daughter isn't. Dad! Tifa. Tifa! <laughs> you can still back out. You don't have to do this. I'm going, and that's that. There'll be two soldiers with me. I'll be fine. Pumpkin. Good morning, sir. I'll be your guide for the day. Tifa? You're our guide? I sure am. You can ask anyone around here. I'm the best there is. You could get hurt. Not if you remember to do your job, she won't. Come on. The music. Oh. <laughs> Sir? Not today. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Did you talk to him? Please, Sephiroth. It means a lot to us. It's just one photo. Come on. Where's the harm in that? There? Thanks. Say cheese. Sounds like you were having a good time. <laughs> One more. Yeah, I guess we were Later. for a while. I have a lot of the thoughts. <laughs> was halfway up Mount Evil. I was looking forward to breathing that crisp, clean mountain air again. Okay, to sprint. And then, okay, we know how to do all that stuff. So my first thought is hearing the difference in Brit Baron's voice from current Tifa to younger Tifa is so cool. It's even more different than it was in Crisis Core. Um, adult Tifa is very kind of reserved in her speech pattern, softer in her tone. And here she's like just super energetic and rambunctious and super confident. Um, 
So hearing those differences in the performance is nice. Someone I would really love to hear from in an interview from Square Enix would be Tyler Hecklin, who voices Sephiroth. Because for him, I think probably him and Britt Baron, they've done this section of the game the most. Most recently for Tyler and Britt with Crisis Core. So I'd be really interested to hear Tyler's take on what it was like doing Sephiroth over and over and over again in these same scenarios and making it sound different because he sounds great um, in this game. He sounds really, really good. So he's been very mysterious, much like Sephiroth. He hasn't done any press or interviews, and I think that's by design. They want him to remain you know, mysterious like Sephiroth. So I'm hoping that maybe by the end of this game, we'll like get an interview with Tyler and really just kind of get to hear his thoughts behind voicing the character and what Sephiroth means to him. That'd be really cool. Look at this shit, man. The music! <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> oh, man. I'm guessing I can't venture off the beaten path. Probably not, because, yeah, Cloud's walking super slow. Maybe we can. Okay, so this is our area so far. Oh, the, the credits are showing up. That's cool. <laughs> Hamaguchi. She sounds just so excitable. I love it. Wow, man. This is insane. Jeez. Every once in a while, you just got to take a knee, you know? Look at the deer. That one jumps super high. <laughs> Everything okay? Not going too fast for you, am I? Of course not. We're just trying to pace ourselves, is all. But I thought you guys were in a hurry. Even so, you'll burn yourself out running like that. I'm not even close to burned out. Not with all the training I've had. <laughs> Guess you really are the best there is. Damn, we got a lot of stuff in that one. Also, this area has been expanded when you compare it to Crisis Core. Um, there's way... Oh, shit. There's way more of a path here. It's much longer. And they're not nice. What do you think? I think I got this. Then they're all yours. Copy that. Got to get back into the swing of things. Square to attack, yep. 
Press the button after dodging to launch a ranged attack. Or hold the button to unleash an aerial combo. Okay. Oh, shit. Feels good. Feels good. That was awesome. You think? If this is how it's going to be, there doesn't seem much point in me fighting. <laughs> I guess not. You leave it all to me, huh? Don't mind if I do. This music, man, is so good. Enemies will grow alerted to your presence as you approach. Once the gauge fills up, combat will ensue. Press square before it fills to get the jump on your foes. Oh. So you get a boost if you land the first hit. I missed it. Command menu, okay. <laughs> Bye. Piece of cake. Feels good, man. <laughs> Feels so good. Tifa. <laughs> Come on, soldier. You can do better than that, can't you? Just you watch. Okay, aerial stuff. R1 still block or dodge. Families here. Well done, Trigger. Thank you. I got the rest. So, Cloud has ranged attacks. If you're the right distance, he'll... Look at that, that's so cool. Oh, get blocked. <laughs> no, you don't. Oh, they think I'm leaving. Not unless we absolutely have to. Our guide might not be so lucky next time. Then, how about I go on ahead and clear the way for you guys? I'll be careful. 
You'd better. Cool. See you at the reactor. Yeah, we checked out the material already, unless it's something new now. I know how material works. AP. Yep. Unless there's like a materia fusion or something. Oh, we have a cess material. Let's throw that on. Yeah, so when Cloud's a certain distance from enemies, he'll unleash that energy attack. That's super helpful. Oh man, imagine this is your job. You work in this little corner over here. You got your own little private spot. Away from all the people. It's probably like a manager's desk. All really well designed too. The areas, nothing feels like super generic. Well, let's use a potion. A mixed high potion. Restore 700 and MP. Ah, cool. Music shifted. It's a dead end. Rockslide took out the bridge a while ago. Come on back, okay? Okay. Crawl spaces. <laughs> Lead on. 
It's nice to hear Sephiroth joke a little bit. Materia. Level boost. Increase the level of the length materia by one. Oh. Let's. Okay, let's do this. Let's put healing here. And then link the level boost. So now healing has gone up to Kira. <laughs> Although it might not be a bad idea to make the offensive spells stronger. We'll use Cure. Or... No, this is what we'll do. We've got potions, man. I'll swap it for fire. So now we have Fyra. There, that's better. an ominous shadow. This guy's pissed. Okay, weak to fire. That's a cool looking design. Oh, hang on. <laughs> Sephiroth's got hops too. <laughs> Shadow. Use the purifier connected to the Smako processing unit. Oh, I gotta hold it. I vacuum in real life. I didn't expect to do it in the game. It'd be kind of funny if the Mako you sucked up powered the vacuum. That would just make sense. Systems nominal. Elevator in operation. Mm 
Tifa's so tiny. <laughs> Nothing in those. Is there anything down there? Nope. Wow, the atmosphere sounds really good here. Just the thunder and the rain. Ah, oh, it's like ASMR. It's gonna put me to sleep. Got an elixir. Just thinking about crossing that thing. Then let me go first. Hey, I'm the guide here. <laughs> I think this was the bridge that, you know, Tifa crossed as a kid. Ooh, it's rickety. I just got the chills right now. Ooh, I don't like, don't look down. Not again. Tifa, are you okay? Not really. What are you? Sucks for that guy. Bummer. Couldn't find him. He's in Fate's hands now. Do you know the way? <laughs> Yeah. Following the river should get us back to the village. We're not going to the village. Can you get us to the reactor? Sorry, I... I don't think I can. I see. Mm. Well, we certainly can't send you back alone. You'll be safer with us. Okay. I'll be joining you up front this time. What? For your performance review. You kidding me? Good luck. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Just peep at uh, Sephiroth's gear. Masamune, Resplendent Bracer. Revival, healing, wind, magnify wind, fire, 
Magnify Ice, Magnify Lightning. Everything's maxed out, of course. True Soldier. So Sephiroth's got everything. Alright. Let's do this. Save bench. <laughs> HP up. That'd be good for cloud. Sick. Press square to slash with the Masamune or hold to unleash the ranged attack. Landing a certain number of attacks will allow you to perform branching finishers like Pierce or Sword Dance with Triangle. So I remember this now. Sephiroth has combo enders. Retaliation stance. Okay, so you hold R1 and press square to parry. It looked like a parry stance. Come on, bring it on in. Or Cloud can take him on. <laughs> okay, so Sephiroth is party leader. I'm fine with that. It's cool to hear Tyler's battle sounds too. Normally when you hear Sephiroth fight, he's very quiet. But to hear him actually like grunting is super cool. This is the universal sign for grunting. Forgot about Sephiroth's abilities. <laughs> Empowerment materia. Allows you to use physical and magic attack strengthening spells. Pairing with warding material grants resistance to physical and magical attack reduction. Huh. So it's like a buff. Just a regular buff. It might be worth trying that out. Let's swap out Assess for Empowerment. See how that helps. the way we came. Spring. 
It's beautiful. <sighs> yeah, but if we keep using Mako to power our homes, springs like this will disappear, right? What are you talking about? Who told you that? My dad. And the mayor, if you must know. Except the planet's huge. Mako will never run out, right? Naturally formed materia. And look at the size of it. Astounding. For the Mako energy to condense into something like this, it must have taken an eternity. I've always wondered, how does materia let you cast spells exactly? Good question. How did you ever get to be a soldier? Yeah. <laughs> to put it simply, the knowledge of the ancients is sealed within each orb. That knowledge not only connects us to the planet, it allows us to tap into her power. That's how we can use magic. Or so they say. Really? Magic sure is weird. <laughs> I know someone who'd be livid to hear you call it weird. Or magic for that matter. I can just imagine what he'd say. It's an affront to science. Who? Hojo from research and development. His predecessor was a great man, but him, he is anything but. Damn. <laughs> we should press on. Hojo's not even on this mission and he's catching strays from Sephiroth. Yeah, his predecessor, cool dude, but him, fuck that guy. <laughs> All right, let's get going. Let's get out of the corner. Let's take out the flying guy first. I'm sticking a lot to Sephiroth because it's like a minimal playtime with Sephiroth. I just want to enjoy all my time with him as I can. We'll be fine. There's a low texture down there. <laughs> a low poly texture. The game is ruined. <laughs> Everything else looks really good though. Look at that. That draw distance though. Just a vast ocean. Don't look down. A 
anything over here? That's the right way to go. They just jump down. Why do I have to climb down? <laughs> they jump down. Oh, we got another magnify materia. Ooh, we got some choices to make here. Hmm. Let's remove the HP up and do magnify. Magnify empowerment. That might be a good combo. Teleporter right in front of me. This is a zoo. While guarding with R1, you can team up with allies to perform a variety of synergy skills. They don't consume the ATB. I was gonna say arrow won't do much on him, right? I won't let you... Stagger gauge. Let's finish this. Hold still. Get him. Show him what we can do. Void shatter. It pays to search. Precision defense focus materia. Improves the functionality of blocking with perfect timing. Oh, so it extends your block window. Okay. The parry timing. Back up. Crazy creatures on this mountain. 
I got you, Sephiroth. Let's use a Mega Potion. Let's try out this empowerment. He's in the walls! Let's try the body parts. Till we knock it down. Are you? Move in. Copy. See here. It's all you. Stand back. Stand back. Double Helix Synergy ability. Big stagger. That timing is hard to get down. That was a big shot. We had Cloud's limit too.
nice work. <laughs> okay, hold up. Maybe I'm missing something here. But everything you've said makes Sephiroth sound like a stand-up guy. Well, he was. And now he's pure evil. Trying to kill everyone on the planet. Help me to understand this shit. Tell me something that'll really make my blood boil. <laughs> oh, I will. I will. civilians even if we weren't on a mission come on keep the young lady safe carry on oh. <laughs> So I'm obviously very rusty at the game because I haven't replayed Remake again, but the boss did seem harder than the bosses were in the first game. Is there a bench nearby, maybe? Didn't expect it to be all systems go. You'd think it'd be running at reduced output, like most last-gen models. And let me guess, pillagers don't have a clue about this. No, no, of course not. The company really needs to be more transparent. Tell that to the president. What exactly is the problem with this place? The people in charge. While most reactors are under the jurisdiction of urban planning, this one is overseen by R&D. Huh. Why do I suddenly have a bad feeling about this? Whatever you see here, you are not to speak of it. Oh, I won't. heal it's a really different looking reactor almost reminds me of the ones you saw in uh, intermission with Yuffie and Sonon more of that kind of design Seeing this recreated is... Woo. Perhaps you'd like to say a few words to your sword first? <laughs> Genova? Wasn't that... The 
malfunction must be forcible parts to be pressurized. Cloud, go out and shut off the valve. Copy. What are you doing? These pods were built for the production of artificial materia. But Hojo repurposed them as incubators. Cages for animals. And shields with Mako. All to birth a new breed of monster. But he didn't stop at animals. Tyler's doing great, man. You get to hear more range from him. Eventually, we went back to the inn. But when we got there, Sephiroth locked himself in his room. The mayor had been looking forward to having dinner with bona fide soldiers, so he didn't take the news too well. Dad had to put up with his belly aching for hours afterward. Huh? Must have sucked. But what about Sephiroth? What happened to him? He left. Didn't tell a soul where he was going. They're doing a really good job with Sephiroth's backstory now. It feels better written. It's a little more streamlined, but there's more emphasis there on the trauma that he's experiencing. Because they do it in Crisis Core, but I feel like it's being done much better in Rebirth so far. I met Sephiroth as he was heading for Shinra Manor, and he acted like I wasn't even there. Busy, I suppose. Looking for Sephiroth? He just left, I'm afraid. Maybe he needed some fresh air? Hmm? Sephiroth? Ah, I did see him leave a little while ago. 
Haven't heard anything about the reactor either. What happened up there anyway? A lot. He's holed up inside the mansion. Something's been off ever since he came back from the reactor. Too much exposure to Mako? Then we ought to bring him some medicine. Well, it even shows how the villagers care about him, too. Should check to see if I could open the doors. Shinra Manor was the biggest building in town. And older than the reactor. The company used to conduct research there, back when they were still a small manufacturer. Even so, the rent on that plot was basically what kept the village afloat. Well, here we are. I mean, the whole place is pitch black. You think he's sleeping or something? What if he's sick and needs our help? Him? A little Mako poisoning isn't gonna hurt a living legend. There's so much more emotion in this now. It's like they took the original story and they're just adding so much more finer detail to it. Look at the mansion, holy crap. This place is a wreck. Place, but Sephiroth was nowhere to be seen. The music is so good. I know I keep saying that, but <laughs> it's really good. to me too. Doubt anyone in the village had a clue. It's a good area for a boss fight. Excavated from a 2,000 year old rock layer, a life form in stasis. Professor Gast named this life form Genova. NEGL 77 1977. Genova. Verified as an ancient. Uh, MEGL 913 1977. Genova project approved. So, they named the life form Genova. And once they understood what she was, they grew ambitious. Hey, Sephiroth. What you got there? Leave me be. And that was it. He stayed holed up in the basement, reading, 
reading, like a man possessed. To think this all could have been avoided. We got Genova. A locked reactor door. The name of Sephiroth's mother. And ancients. Ah, screw it. Racking my brain's not gonna get me anywhere. May as well just ask the guy. the most fascinating passage he's lost it the specimen found in strata dating back 2,000 years smiled with what could only be described as ethereal grace though the truth eluded me at first I later determined that she was an ancient or a steward of the planet as they are referred to in legend she needed a name and so I dubbed her Genova. The Genova project was approved soon after. A bold initiative to resurrect the long dead ancients. An initiative that resulted in my conception. Or rather, my creation. The crowning glory of Professor Gas. Wondrous experiment! He created you? should go mother is waiting hey hey hold on keep asking myself, why couldn't I have come to sooner? If I had, maybe I could have saved the village. Or tried, at least. What?
it true? Oh, it was him, all right. And he's still here. So keep your eyes peeled. God. Get your head straight. I need you to secure the way out. Now. Yes, sir. Security officer. Security officer. That's what Sephiroth said to Cloud at the beginning of Remake. Hey! Hey! Hang in there! You're gonna be okay! Don't worry. I got you. Come on. Let's get you up. <laughs> he ain't gonna be in Rush Hour 3. Brutal. Damn. They are making this way more brutal. Hey, you might want to shoot him.
what day um man so it's i was saying this earlier about how like they make it feel fresh a story we've already known and experienced endless times and they make it feel fresh that's what they're doing they made sephiroth so much more brutal than i remember him being just watching him go through and just stab people all nonchalant like just murdering them he is even more brutal in his depiction and rebirth um and they just make everything feel new it's like they took an old painting cleaned it up and then added some fine detail to it that's what rebirth is starting to feel like so far it's like you took what we already knew but it somehow still feels new now and you're adding in these little bits of detail that flesh out the story and add impact wow <laughs> that was sick that was a really fun demo and the boss was a lot harder than i thought it was going to be so could just be that i'm rusty too but that was insane and super fun um yeah but sephiroth man sephiroth is brutal very brutal that was fun <laughs> If you guys made it to the end of this, thank you. This is probably going to be split up into multiple parts. It's really long. But uh, if you guys like the video, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to stick around. Um, and if you like the playthrough, share it. It helps me out. But I am Curious Cordura. I will see you guys in the next video. Please remember to always be excellent to one another.